So when I'm reviewing my ROP applications, the first thing that's going to sort of stand out is just the quality of the writing in your proposal. Make sure you take some time to really plan out um, what you're writing because that's the first impression that you're making with that professor. And if they aren't impressed with that, you're not going to get an email, you're not going to get a chance to talk to them in person so they can see how smart you are. You really have to make sure that that's coming out in your application. So take some time write it well, um, and that goes a long way. Uh, the application process really is about finding your strengths. You need to be able to say, this is what I'm good at, this is what I have done, and this is what I'm comfortable doing. One of the best ways I found to do it was really just look at what labs have I done in my first year, because other than that, I really hadn't had much experience in biology or chemistry labs. I think it's, it's absolutely fine to try to make contact with the professor, um, you know, sort of before or after you've submitted an application just to show that you're really, really interested and truly passionate about this particular line of research that they're working on, um, because that's another thing that we're going to look for, someone who's genuinely interested uh, in that research project. If you have your own ideas, if you've done your own research, if you're talking about a particular paper you saw that you have um, questions or ideas about, absolutely put that in your application or send an email to the professor um, to show that you really are interested in what they're doing and contributing to that project. Giving that little bit of background can really make it seem like you care about the project, you didn't just randomly apply, and um, that, that, makes, that makes you stand out a lot more than just being one of hundreds of uh, potential applicants. The way I came about getting my research position outside of ROP was asking my TA. So I, I talked to my hu uh, human genetics TA, so I just said, I'm very interested in genetics, I find it very interesting, and they gave me a list of different labs that, that they've had contact with, and they now have open positions. So I did more research into the different principal investigators, and I looked, and I applied to most of them. I told them what specific pro facets of the project I was interested in, and, that, uh, and I think that gave me a competitive edge against a lot of the other applicants. Because a lot of people apply broadly, they're unable to convey to the principal investigator that they really care about their project. And spending that extra hour or two on the project helps, helps them know that you care. I would imagine that in any department it's pretty similar. Um, again, you really, you know, that application is your first impression, so um, especially if your grades are maybe a little bit lacking or not super, super competitive, um, make sure you pay extra attention to the information that you're providing in that. Uh, we don't expect, you know, second year students to have a lot of experience. That's the point of this project is to give you uh, experience. So we're looking for passion. We're looking for um, good communication skills. We're looking for someone that we want to we, we can sort of see as a part of our lab, someone that we can speak to that's going to interact well with the other students uh, on our, uh, in our labs, um, so sort of putting your, your best foot forward.